All right, let's bring you the top story that we are tracking at 9 p.m. tonight. Uh, this is a major development and this is coming from the state of Karnataka. And this is, of course, about the anti-conversion bill in the state. Now, the Karnataka governor has given his assent to the Karnataka Protection of Right to Freedom of Religion Ordinance 2022. And this has happened amid protests by the minorities in the state. So the bill is now all set to be sent to the president. And this, of course, is making making it a step closer to now becoming a law. And when that happens, Karnataka will be the ninth Indian state to enact a law against religious conversion. The bill, remember, was stabled and passed by the BJP-led government in the southern state in December last year. In fact, the state Home Minister Aruga Gyanendra had earlier in the day tried to allay the fears of the minority community against the bill. Let's listen into that reaction. आ बिल नली याव दो उन दो कम्युनिटी ने उद्देश्य वाकी टकरन मारे दें तब बिल ला ला दो समिधान दली ये ला धर्म गलो और और धर्म दली बदु को हक करना पड़ दी दवे हाँ क्या अपना डिस्टर्ब मरो प्रश्न है नहीं ला ये ना की देश समिधान दली वो हेड इधर है याव दो बलवंत तो मत मतांतरा आमिषा तो मतांतरा य आदरे इगाय तप्पा आदर मुंदे नो पनिशमेंट ये नो उन्हें इरली लादर ली हाँ क्या क्या पनिशमेंट टन्ना तंदी दिवे also yesterday, Mirror Now's Neha Hebale spoke to Archbishop of Bengaluru, Peter Mercado, and posted this very question as to what will their next step be, if at all, the governor gives his assent to the ordinance. Let's listen in to what his reaction was on the same. Are we seeing you or any groups for that matter, you know, taking the legal route? Is that an option that's being explored? Because you have mentioned in the past that, you know, this bill coming in would again create disharmony and unrest and certain groups have been, you know, trying to do this. So, Yeah, ma'am, I think we will use all peaceful ways and means of taking into confidence the public and at the same time trying to convince also the government. And if nothing is possible, Good, our country is blessed with good laws and the legal system. We have good judges. We will appeal to them to the extent possible to say that this section of the, 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 the what you call the bill has got so many sections that are harming not only the Christians but also the others. And I am told by the others also that they would like to also appeal to the government or perhaps even fight legally for the many sections that are there. And joining me on the broadcast now is Father Faustin Lobo, who is the PRO of the Karnataka Region Catholic Bishops Council. Uh, Father Lobo, thank you so much for joining us on this very important discussion right here on Mirror Now. What are your first words now that uh, the ordinance has been given an assent by the governor in the state? Uh, what I have to say is uh, this is a most unfortunate day for us. Uh, what we feel is this is a treatment, or shall I say, this is the punishment uh, that is given by the government uh, for behaving well. I think this is a punishment that is given to uh, the community, Christian community in a special way for serving the nation. We, we have contributed so much uh, for the nation building process, uh, and we are still doing it. Our, our aim is always service. And for having done this, we feel this is the uh, treatment that the government is giving. And when I see the way in which this was introduced, uh, the ordinance way that, that uh, is taken shows that there is something so urgent for those who are in the government somehow to bring it. And just now uh, I heard Mr. Aragaja Nyanendra saying, uh, this is not against any one community. Uh, but though the government is saying that this is not against one community, the purpose why this is brought is always harped on by this government and the personnel that the Christian community is on rampant conversion, and that has to be stopped. Though they are not hinting or showing explicitly that it is hinting at one community, but the purpose of this particular bill is against one community because all the other states where it has been uh, uh, promulgated, it is always used against the Christian community. Mm. So therefore, 
all these words uh, do not really carry uh, uh, water. Okay. So, Father, uh, Father Lobo, what do you have to say about this reaction that had uh, uh, come in earlier in the day by the state uh, home minister, Arga Gyanendra, where he said that the minority community, especially the Christian community, do not have anything to worry about? What do you make of those statements? No, they, they, are, they are simply hollow statements because it doesn't really mean anything. Because already we have seen the trailer. Uh, even before this bill could be introduced or after mm. introducing this bill, we have seen how the uh, uh, groups are let loose to go and destroy the worship places, uh, uh, disturb the community prayers, and plant Bhagavad Bhajas on the, the, the chapels, churches, uh, where the cross is. See, innocent people are really... Uh, troubled and scared that uh, this would be a uh, very good handle for these miscreants, uh, the, the uh, misguided youth, uh, to make use of uh, what they want to do with the support of the government uh, bill. All right, and also your last words, Father Lobo, on uh, the fact that we just played out that reaction that we got for from Archbishop uh, Peter Mercado also, where he has claimed that uh, there is going to be silent protests if at all uh, this uh, ordinance does in fact go ahead and become the law, you know, uh, law after the assent by the president. Do you think that will be the next course of action or there is something else that needs to be done? Uh, we, we feel we have nobody to support us, nobody to help us. Uh, we are a peace-loving community. Mm. We have always used peaceful methods for expressing our displeasure. So far, we have uh, gone through all the possible ways that we can uh, uh, adhere to. And uh, the last resort was meeting the governor, which we have done. And the governor uh, give us gave us mm. time, and he also assured that he will go through, and after sufficient uh, reflection, he will uh, proceed. But uh, the, uh, we, I can see that there was no reflection, because uh, everything was planned before. And yesterday, though we met, uh, today we see he, is, uh, he has already passed it, signed it. And therefore, now, ultimately, we have only one mm. peaceful method that we can use, and that is a legal recourse. Uh, maybe we will have to. We are, we are pushed into this okay. uh, by the government, uh, and uh, the government is not at all worried about the troubles that are given to different communities. Today, what we see is one community is pitted against the other, and there is uh, the, uh, Karnataka being such a peaceful uh, state uh, is now being uh, uh, pushed into tr troubles uh, and disturbances. All right. Uh, Father Faustine Lobo, thank you so much for joining us on the broadcast. An important discussion there and also a word there from the Christian community in the state. Peaceful protests and also taking the legal course of action is something that they are talking about. Let's see what really happens once this bill is sent to the president for his assent, after which this particular ordinance, I beg your pardon, is going to be a law in the state of Karnataka as well.